Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Live. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. In today's video, guys, we'll be working here on a Chevy Cruze, guys, and we will show you how to remove and replace brake light switch. Okay, this brake light switch is actually located on the brake pedal, and when you press the brake pedal, it activates your lights, or when you have the cruise control on and you press the brake pedal, it deactivates the cruise control. So it's quite a complicated thing, guys. Now, if that brake light switch goes bad, sometimes you may get a code, sometimes you may not. We have the video about the code, I think it was P057C, but check it out, guys, the video is on the channel. And if that brake light switch doesn't work, your lights may be stuck on all the time, or they may not work at all. So it really depends. Quick introduction. We will guys have more than 200 videos on Chevy Cruze and more than 200 videos on every car we get at the shop because our mission is to save you guys as much money as we can. So please subscribe to the channel and like the video guys. Hopefully you will find the information helpful. Now, it's very limited room where that brake light switch is located. So I'll try to do my best guys to show you how to remove and replace it. But uh, you may not get amazing view because first of all, you don't have so much room there, but I'll try my best. So, brake light switch now is located. Okay, let me disconnect the computer here. Okay, this is your brake pedal. Brake pedal, so uh, the brake light switch is right behind uh, on top of it. So I'm going to put the light, okay, like that. And if you come over here, this is your brake light switch, guys. So, pull that thing down. Okay, this is your uh, wire there for the, uh, for the connector. Press down on it. Okay, and remove it. You can see I'm talking about this thing right here. You press in, pull it out. Now guys, I'm going to get a small socket. This is a, a American size socket actually that I got. Okay, let me see exactly uh, which size I picked 932's guys 932's is the socket that I'll be using and you can see right here on top ok I'm going to get a screwdriver so I can show you a little bit better ok all the way on top right there there is one ok one screw that we need to ok we need to remove and that thing is not as easy as you think it is so get there with you a little ratchet upside down get it loose okay and we'll see if that will help us take it off now I noticed that once I got it loose guys okay I might be able just to spin that thing with the socket only okay so that will be quite helpful if if I can actually do that, so that way, okay, I don't have to move that ratchet in place. So it's getting loose. We'll see when it's going to come out. Okay, check it out how long it is. It's still going, guys. Okay, it's still going, so a little bit more. Okay, it looks like it came loose actually. So what I'll try to do now is pull it out from the brake panel and pull the switch out too. And these guys, okay, let me get the light so you can see a little bit better. Okay, this is your brake light switch. And remember how it was installed and it has a special place where it goes right here. And this is where the screw 
uh, the bolt it's actually a bolt it's on the screw where it goes to so you can see it wasn't too complicated guys to remove and replace that thing but it wasn't the easiest thing to do as well so it would take you a little bit of time being upside down but that's how you remove it if you want to guys see where we buy our replacement parts from check out the link we'll have it listed in the description of the video below hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching please subscribe to our channel for more videos and see you guys next time